There are a number of answers to the question, what is the most poisonous plant? It depends whether you're asking about accidental ingestion of the plant itself, or the use of the substances derived from it. Then there is the question of geographical limitation. Are you asking about plants anywhere in the world, or just about the plants that might be found in a UK garden? And of course, it depends whether you mean poisonous or harmful, because plants can be extremely poisonous. But if there's something that prevents people or animals from being exposed to the poison, they won't actually do any harm. My name is John Robertson, and today I want to talk about Aconitum napellus, because in terms of UK gardens, it has to be a contender for the title of most poisonous plant. The tall flower stem produces attractive blue helmet-shaped flowers. That shape leads to its main common name, monk's hood. But it is also known as soldier's helmet and old wives' hood. Its toxic properties mean it is known as tiger's bane, dog's bane, and, because of its alleged toxic smell, mouse bane. It is sometimes called wolf's bane, though that name is more usually applied to the aconitum lycoctonum. Ingestion of even a small amount can result in severe gastrointestinal upset, but it is the effect on the heart that is often the cause of death in those very few cases in the modern era where fatal poisoning has occurred. The poison may be administered by absorption through broken skin or open wounds, and there are reports of florists being unwell after working with the flowers, but there are no documented cases. Its distinctive taste makes it unpleasant to eat, so accidental poisoning is extremely rare, but not unknown. Some years ago, I met a couple who thought it looked so lovely they planted it to brighten up their herb garden. When the wife picked a leaf salad, she accidentally included some leaves from the monkshood, and both suffered severe stomach upsets lasting two days. The puzzle about that incident and the reason there are not many other similar accidental poisonings is due to the taste. Usually described as initially very bitter, followed by a burning sensation, and then a numbing of the mouth. Though difficult to confirm, it was said to have been used to poison water supplies during wars. This was, according to the stories, done by a retreating army to deprive their pursuers from access to safe water. I'm inclined to think that the monkshood, or other species of aconitum, was chosen because of its unique taste. This would mean that it would be very obvious that the water had been poisoned, leading to the pursuing commander realising that he could not continue the pursuit. It was also used to poison the tips of arrows, and the shafts may have been smeared with poison so that someone helping a wounded comrade would get poison on their hands where it could be absorbed through the skin. It is known that the tips of harpoons were smeared in juice from aconitum plants in order to kill whales more easily. A 1943 paper explains how tribes living around the northern rim of the Pacific Ocean used the plant for this purpose. The taste explains why the extracts of monkshood have never been popular as murder weapons. It has only very rarely been employed for this purpose. The murder of Percy John by his brother-in-law, Dr. George Henry Lamson, is one of those, and is interesting enough to merit its own video. At this time of year, the monkshood in my garden is starting to produce buds, meaning that the beautiful flowers will soon appear and be a source of nectar for a great many bees. This often raises the question, does that make honey poisonous? But we'll leave that for another day and another video. I'm John Robertson, and you can learn more about poisonous plants by visiting www.thepoisongarden.co.uk.